Hi, everybody. This month's K-Man Live Show has a little bit of everything. We'll take you to this year's Coco Fest for a celebration of a traditional staple in the Caymanian diet. We'll meet a man who started his entrepreneurial journey at the tender age of 10 and find out the secret to his success. Plus, on the home front, tips from IDG on how to declutter and detox your home. This is the Cayman Life Show. Hi everybody, I'm April Cummings, your host and a Cereba licensed real estate agent with Caldwell Banker Cayman Islands Realty. We begin with a visit to Pedro St. James and a taste of all things coconut. So we are at this year's Coco Fest and with us the fabulous Mona Mead. Mona, it's amazing out here. How's it going? It's going really well. I think we have so many more people here this year. I think it really has solidified itself as an event um, to stay in the Cayman Islands calendar, you know, of, of family events. Uh, it, it's just really, really fantastic. So what is Coco Fest? Well, Coco Fest basically it was born out of the idea of, of a, a holistic nutritionist, Tamer Solomon, and filmmaker uh, Rob Tyler, who created this uh, documentary on Cayman and the connection to the coconut oil and the healthy benefits of it, rather than the, I guess what they were calling in their film, the lie of the, you know, the vegetable oil and all the hydro dry, all the things that I can't say because I'm not a nutritionist, but saying that we have it right here and and it grows so plentiful and we've used it for all sorts of centuries and then why aren't we using it now? And then we said, okay, well let's have this event here at Peter St. Jean's that this celebrates the coconut and we've had so many different vendors come up with fantastic ideas of how to make or infuse coconut in something that they're doing whether it's health and beauty items or just like using the coconut oil to fry fish and fritters you know or, or just making the coconut fronds artwork just all sorts of wonderful ways that the coconut can be used not only for food but you know in other use, utilitarian ways. So Peter St. James is an amazing part of Cayman's history, but sometimes it can get forgotten because it's just there all right. the time. An event like this really can bring people out to see it and share that story as well. Absolutely, and what we've been doing is showing the film, the documentary, The Bright Spot, and, and alternating it in every half an hour, showing the Peter St. James, almost like the Cayman Islands origin story, the story of Peter St. James, but also the story of you know how Cayman came to be, its government. I mean, Baden Town is the birthplace of democracy, but that happened here in this house. So people forget that because they don't come out to see it. So what we're trying to do is sort of twofold, raise funds for a charity, Meals on Wheels being this year's beneficiary, but also, you know, use those funds to come in and help to maintain and preserve the house that's here and showcase Cayman history, showcase the house itself, and just kind of showcase Cayman as it is, where we have these new Caymanians and old Caymanians, but we can really work together as one. And then with food and drink and fellowship, what better way to do that? I don't think I could say any more better than that. Thank you so oh, much, Ramona. I appreciate too. it. Hi, I'm April Cummings, a licensed real estate agent with Caldwell Banker Cayman Islands Realty. And today I want to talk about an organization that has literally transformed the real estate industry in this country. Let me take you back over 30 years to what I'm calling the wild, wild west era of Cayman real estate. I have heard some crazy stories, unscrupulous agents taking advantage of unsuspecting property owners, doing things like convincing them to sell family land for far less than it was worth. Agents literally fighting over property listings. Things. Both buyers and sellers were at the mercy of everyone. So a group of the good guys got together and formed an association designed to put some order in the chaos, setting out a clear set of guidelines and rules, a code of conduct so that anyone doing business with people in this organization knew there would be accountability and clarity to the benefit of everyone. That organization is called Cereba, the Cayman Islands Real Estate Brokers Association. With over 200 agents and more than 30 member companies, it is by far the country's largest group. A portion of every commission earned goes to the association, which uses those funds to support training, development, and the MLS, the Multiple Listing Service, which lists all the properties marketed by every Cereba broker in the country. It means that you can work with any one Cereba agent and they can provide you with information on any property listed. Truly a one-stop shop. This is your Cayman Life Property Minute. I'm April Cummings. And remember, if you know anyone who is in the market to buy or sell property, send them my way, april at caymanlife.ky. And don't forget to check out all our videos at caymanlife.ky.
this group of young people aren't from any one school or any one classroom for that matter. They've come together from all across the island to play the music they love. This is any school, any child that lives on this island, homeschooled, public schooled, private schooled, any student. First note's the most important one. One, two, ready? <laughs> there you go. Mr. Emerson has had a dream. Ever since I stepped foot in Cayman, I've wanted a youth orchestra. And what a wonderful orchestra he has created. Over 70 young people gather together every week to celebrate their passion for music in this wonderful program, which is free to all. Good. And it's really fun to like, see other people from different schools to see how they play and like to meet other new people. And even more than meeting new people, these kids have taken this program to heart and they are serious about making it the best it can be. This is the first orchestra, the first string orchestra to come together on the island and it just shows that like we're here and we're growing. It builds a lot of discipline so far. I've had a few parents even comment after our first concert that their, their child is practicing more. Okay, one more time, let's tighten it up. One, two. They are more organized with their music folders. They're, oh, I can't do that tonight because I have youth orchestra. It's just educating the entire child. I think a lot of the times within the four walls of a school, it's all academics, academics. You have to get in university, you have to do this, you have to do that. And um, I, I don't want to live in a world without art and music. Their goal is to have three concerts a year. It's exciting. That first time we, were, we performed the other day, it was exciting to see how many people were there coming to just hear us. And it was just nerve wracking because of how many people were there actually coming to support the orchestra. It, it was a great experience. Congratulations to the Cayman Youth Orchestra, the Cayman First Classroom of the Month. Keep up the good work. On our Spaces feature this month, we partnered with IDG. They've just launched their own YouTube channel with advice and tips and strategies for homeowners and future homeowners. This month, we feature their segment on decluttering and detoxifying your home. Great, so let's see what as a designer you can help us with our spaces. Sure, so our first designer suggestion would be to do custom built-in millwork within to your home. And this is something that can be implemented in a newly built home that's in construction or in a home that's already been your family home for years and years. And this would be an, a option that would integrate within to your home's architectural style. And some suggestions we can offer, for example, are building um, recessed shelves within a floating staircase and applying those elements of clutter within that. Um, you can also do a recessed niche with shelves within a lounge area and apply you know, your storage boxes, those old picture frames or any bowls or accessories you may have. It can be an opportunity to, uh, to show them and to show them to guests that you have within the home. That's perfect, and that's a nice way to add visual interest now while storing all the pieces that we have. Exactly. So that's great. And okay, so we've got custom mill work that we can do as a, a, an mm -hmm. element to add to our home. What else could we do with a designer? So another option we can suggest would be one that is something you can source locally for a reasonable price point and can work within any style and can be installed within any area within your home. And these could be uh, wall-mounted shelves and cubbies. They can oh, be done perfect. in different wood finishes, different paint finishes, different colors, and they can be organized however you like within mm -hmm. a wall. So that's a really good way to be cost effective. So that's great for kids' desks areas, creating homework study spaces, or even guest rooms or little niches to put different things. So that's exactly. a great way to do that. Exactly. So 
Another tip that I can definitely relate to is artwork. A lot of our clients have different types of art that they collect from their various travels over the years. And it ends up sitting in a room in rolled canvas and unfortunately no one can see how beautiful that art is. So one thing I did a few months ago is I took all that art and I just had it framed locally here in Cayman. And I just took the time to organize that art along a wall and they're all different styles, different frame finishes, different beautiful. colors, and it looks beautiful. And it's a great way to create a conversation and a statement piece within your home. And now you have the memories of all your travels on the walls and you get to display them and you don't have the clutter anymore in your bedroom. So it's a win-win for you all, all around. <laughs> Um, another suggestion our team would offer is to purchase freestanding furniture that has storage implemented into it. Oh, For smart. example, you can purchase a coffee table or a dining table that has roll-out drawers. So you can put all those mm. PlayStation games, all those video games, all those magazines can just be hidden away and it's a dual purpose so we don't piece have of the furniture. controllers laying all over the place. Yeah, exactly. I have a 12 year old son, so that stuff's always all over the place. <laughs> so definitely that smart quick drawer, they can pop it in and it mm -hmm. keeps it clean. And you can even do it with smaller pieces of furniture, like some baskets that we have here at home by IDG and Dwell by IDG. These baskets can be used for the storage of blankets, of toys, and they can go anywhere within the home. That's smart. And they're offered in a variety of styles too. And that helps for the quick tidy up. So yes, when you have the exactly. unexpected guests pop in, you can throw the toys right into the bins or any of the little pieces laying around and the house looks spotless. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and our last designer tip would be to purchase small accessories or even reuse some that you have. Mm. For example, I love candles and what I would do is once the candle's finished, I could just take those glass candle jars with their cover, remove the wick, clean them with some hot water and soap and just reuse them for the storage of office supplies or maybe ingredients in my kitchen. That's and it's smart. a great way to reuse things you already have. Which is great, another way for us to help save him in. <laughs> yes, exactly. Special thanks to our friends at IDG. They have also just launched a new professional staging service. If you're a seller, it is a great way to showcase your property. And if you're a prospective buyer, it's a great way to visualize turning that house into a home. You can watch the full feature, by the way, on decluttering and detoxifying on caymanlife.ky or on the IDG TV YouTube channel. It's an exciting time for the national carrier of the Cayman Islands. Cayman Airways launches twice weekly direct flights to Denver. Three, two, one. Yay! This route to Denver, it's the longest route Cayman Airways has ever undertaken. It's actually made possible by the brand new 737 MAX 8. We've been looking forward to this day for maybe about a year now. A lot of planning has gone into establishing the route, getting all our approvals, and it's really a pleasure to see it come together this morning. So with the introduction of the MAX aircraft, we've also introduced our Turtle Entertainment. This uh, Wi-Fi based system allows for movies, TV shows, games, books. Going forward, we're hoping to infuse it with a lot of command based movies, command based publications. You name it, we want to get it more Caymanized than it is today, but we're excited about it. 
Looking forward to what it offers to our passengers. It's unique for the Denver population because this is the only Caribbean gateway that now has non-stop or direct service from Denver. So this is going to be really well received. The Cayman Arts Festival brings world-class artists to the Cayman Islands and one of the special features, the master classes, which connect local students with world-class musicians. We get you up on your feet and you sing and perform. The music room at St. Ignatius is packed with talent from schools all over Grand Cayman. And then we break it down. And they are here to learn from one of the masters. It's okay, come on. Kids are great students and they're good for master classes because it's so hands-on. That's what performing is. You know, you do the song, we talk about ways to improve the song, ways to dig deeper emotionally, or things that are technically um, uh, areas that, that we can improve. This is part of the Cayman Arts Festival, which brings world-class performing arts to Cayman with the goal of inspiring, entertaining, and educating. I think that's wonderful to um, expose children and adults, of course, to all these different ways of using mu music to connect with one another. So many. The artists that come from around the world to participate in the festival Don't be afraid of the emotion. also make a commitment to conduct workshops, master classes, or demonstrations for Cayman's youth. You are playing a character. Since 2004, more than 1,600 students have attended workshops or master classes. It can help you to understand the story. With CAF hosted talent. Even if you're going to change the story slightly. But actually, they came at last minute. Um, my teacher heard me singing so she asked me to get into the competition and I guess I volunteered to it. I'm hoping to learn different things from different people. Jenna's grandfather is the late Charles Gregory, a well-known musician from the Memory of Justice band in the late 70s. Jana said he inspires her. He was very popular um, in the Cayman Islands for music and I kind of caught on to that along with Lots of um, my family members, we love music. Here's to the ladies who lunch. And taking that natural talent to the next level is what these master classes are all about. Off to the gym. Cultivating that passion and talent at an early age. Every day is so wonderful. Kids often just listen take the note and then make perfect adjustments. <laughs> you know, I call them sparkly, magical babies. Here's to the girls who stay smart, aren't they the best? They really just respond to what you're asking of them. And they really understand that all we're doing is trying to communicate. I am beautiful in every single way, yes. Words can bring me down. Our Cayman Faces segment features the recipient of the Lifetime Achievement Award from the Cayman Islands Chamber of Commerce. This Caymanian icon shares some of the secrets to his success. Keith Parker Tibbetts Jr. says he got a late start in business. I was 10 years and nine months old when I first got into business. Mr. Parker came from Cayman Brac to Grand Cayman with very little, but he grew what he had with hard work and a liberal dash of vision. My dad's favorite poem was the Mary Gloucester by Rudyard Kipling. And his favorite line out of it is, they've copied all they can follow, but they cannot copy my mind. I leave them sweating and stealing a year and a half behind. I have taken that to heart from a very early age. Associated Industries Group began its life basically as a junkyard, which grew into car parts sales and today is the umbrella for Parker's Ace, AI Rentals and Save the Date. He says it truly is one of his proudest achievements, success he attributes to business acumen and a belief system that he learned early in life watching customers being served in his grandparents' Cayman Brack store. I did my grade school homework on a, on a mom and pop store counter, that's where, that's where I was. That was what I learned is a way of life. 
Mr. Parker has been involved in so many different types of business enterprises, it's hard to categorize them. Let's just say he is a true entrepreneur, deftly getting in and sometimes out of a business at exactly the right time. I have built a reputation of moving quite fast and on businesses. He believes his success has customer service at its core. A lot of the businesses, I, I wasn't the first one to go into them. I just tried to run mine better than, better than any other one I saw. And uh, put whatever elbow grease it needed into it, too. Elbow grease and an impeccable sense of timing. It's been a winning combination for Mr. Parker and his businesses. Things have always dropped into place pretty quickly for me. As an early member of and supporter of the Chamber of Commerce since the 1960s, he's been a passionate advocate for the business community, serving as president from 1979 to 1982. And after his amputation due to complication of diabetes, he's shown us all that a disability may change your life, but it doesn't have to diminish your quality of life. My father's father was a diabetic. He rode his bicycle to work. He served his store. I learned that you, you have a a disability, but you can do things to work around it. Today he serves on the Disability Council, earning the Cayman Islands Certificate and Badge of Honor presented during the 2017 Queen's Birthday Celebration. Honesty is a big key in business. In fact, I will tell you that on my tombstone, I would like to know that they put, here lies an honest gentleman. That's what I, that's what I would like to see there. And I've tried to, to build that reputation in all my years. Thank you everybody for joining us for the Cayman Life Show. You can watch us online at caymanlife.ky and also on television on Logic Cable Channel 33. And remember, if you're buying or selling property or know someone who is, drop me a line. I'm at april at caymanlife.ky. A portion of the proceeds go to support our work on the channel celebrating Cayman Life.